Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today. I am back today because as you all know, it is the best day of the week, you guys. Today is Ruby Day. Welcome to Ruby Day. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, I don't even know where to begin on the last episode. It was so good. And there's actually... You know, I kind of do know where to begin because there's a lot that, like, I didn't even get to talk about. I was so, like, just high off of that episode. <laughs> it was so stinking good. But there was actually quite a bit in there, like, both super, super positive that we've been waiting for forever. And also, like, some stuff that was a little bit concerning, too, you know, which I, I probably didn't get into as much because, again, I was just kind of riding high. Um... But yeah, guys, uh, man, what an episode. It, I, I'll tell you, it was nice to just like, to just have a win. You know what I mean? Like, it was so nice to have something like really, really good that we really, really wanted to have happen. <laughs> oh, I know you guys feel it too. I know there was just like celebrating in the streets and oh, guys, it's, it was a big day. Um, so yeah, I will kind of briefly get into a couple of things that I didn't get to address last time and also just my lingering thoughts and feelings on everything. Um, before I do that, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much for that. All right, guys. Bees. Bees. That's all I'm going to say. You already know. It's, you know. You know. It was just so, it was just so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. Oh, and the song came out in my car the other day. And I was just like, oh. <gasps> Oh, it just, it feels like there's just, the flowers are all in bloom, just like the song says. It was great. Um, one thing I did not get to talk about as much was Ruby's reaction to Crescent Rose. And I was kind of taken aback at how she was so taken aback and she just looked at it with disdain. And, you know, you guys were reminding me that, like, don't forget, like, a weapon, when you, that's a big deal when you build your weapon, when you forge your weapon, like, um, it's an extension of yourself. And we know how Ruby was with Crescent Rose. We know how she is. And just to see her have that kind of reaction is devastating. It's devastating. And it shows that she really, it really shows her, her state of mind on herself and, like, her whole life. Her whole, pre her whole previous life to date. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know how we're going to resolve it. I, I believe we are going to resolve what Ruby's going through. But man, I just feel like we are dragging her through the mud. It's sad to watch. And you know, it's interesting. Nobody's really... Um, I, think we're, I think there's just so much going on. We're all just up in the air about everything right now. I get that, like, we haven't had a lot of time to, like, sit and talk about how we're feeling. And, like, Ruby keeps on saying she's fine and everything. But I I feel like we're going to, I feel like, I feel like we're going to need to address it at some point. You know what I mean? Um, and I know that they're going to help her through it the way that she helped all of them through what they've been through. But, like, we're, we need to get there. Like, we need, uh, my girl's in trouble. Um, we had this whole revelation from John about, um, Alex and what she was really like and the fact that there was really Lewis and, um, <coughs> a couple of you have had the idea that, um, you know, was it really, we didn't really see what happened. Was it maybe really, uh, Lewis that got out and wrote the story? <coughs> Excuse me. I am getting over being sick. I do apologize for sound effects. Um, because we really have no way of knowing. Um, John didn't actually see what happened when they went in the tree. He just knew that one came out. Uh, I've seen some really, really cool theories that, like, the cat might be involved in, like, helping defeat Salem. That maybe the cat is the relic. The beacon relic. Or, like, um, Ospin somehow managed to hide. The, the relic is the cat. I'm like, why? That's some... some you guys out there with your imaginations... 
you're on it. Um, but yeah, there's just like, there's, there's a lot. I mean, really, when you think about it, when that prediction, not prediction, but when that was stated about like, there's no way to, to get rid of Salem, was there knowledge of the ever after? Was that being taken into consideration? We really don't know. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. But um, anyway, so I got off on a tangent talking about Ruby and Crescent Rose and oh, getting to catch up with John and know just like what's been happening all these years. I just want to hug him. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him because like I thought he went through it alone, which would have been awful. But knowing what he went through with Alex and Lewis too means that he just went through even more crap before he got to this point and I just uh but um hopefully I don't know it's gonna, I don't know if like when we get back if he's gonna go back to the age he was or keep the experiences but go back to the age you I really don't know I honestly have no clue <coughs> but you know I'm sure that I'm sure that we will be getting there I mean we only have after this we have three episodes left so it's crazy oh my goodness um, so yeah, guys, um, oh yeah, and the, and the cat, I don't know, I saw some mixed opinions out there about the cat that, like, technically they did kind of not tell the cat what they were up to, and maybe, though, the cat was, I still maintain that, like, those two things were not the same, but I do see how, <coughs> excuse me, I do see how maybe, upon thinking about it more, they weren't, like, very, um, as forthright as they could have been about their intentions. Um, <coughs> I'll just get it all out of the way during the intro, you guys. <laughs> I was feel I just recorded one other thing, I was fine, and now I'm like, it's, it's the excitement. It's the excitement that's getting to me. Um, so... I guess we will just see what's going to happen. I cannot wait. Without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and we jump right in to the next episode of Ruby. Let's do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. So... They, they don't, they don't pull out the warnings too often, you guys, so it's a little bit concerning. Can you imagine if all the shows I watched had that? <laughs> like, every single show would have to have it, basically. Um, oh, it was pointed out to me that you can actually see Lewis <coughs> in the theme here. I'll have to look for him. So every time I feel like we get more, because we had John last time too instead of the mic. <clears throat> um, I'm looking for the part with Lewis. It's probably super fast, but we'll see. I'm, I'm just, I'm loving the synthesizer, too, on the, I'm just, the whole soundtrack's really working. Oh, it's, I'm trying to, yeah, see, they changed that last time, Sean. Okay, I must admit, it must have been, like, or maybe not, because there's still a little bit left to the theme. Okay, so here's part with Alex. Is washed up. Do you think maybe Alex is still there? I don't know. Okay, so I missed it, but it is in there. Oh, it's a paper bird? Oh, oh, that's... This is a nice little village that John found. Oh... Just fear. Oh, sleeping next to each other. Honey. Of course, she's laying there awake. Looking at Crescent Rose. Ah! Oh, wait! Uh, 
I'm late. I'm late. Late? What are you late for? What was that? I overslept. Oh. I never oversleep. Yesterday, oh, all the excitement. Get your head together. You can fix it. You always fix it. What? Yeah. What are we? What's I happening? Wait. I'm late. Any second, there's going to be another. Ah! Damn it! Right on time. Get to town. I'll meet you there. What is going on? I'm just upset when I oversleep. Uh, oh! What did he mean right on time? I'm sure we'll find out when we get down there. Yeah. Ruby, where's Ruby? your weapon? Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, still waking up. Uh, hurry! People oh, honey. Oh, she's so not okay. Whoa. Oh, everything it's it stuff's on fire. It's like a is it like a paper it's village? Out of paper. <clears throat> um <laughs> we I do come to our village. We hope that it pleases you. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you are so that we may serve you? Serve oh. us? Your town is on fire! Oh uh, no, we are quite safe. We have our hero. We have the we have John! Yay! Does this happen every day? Every day he has. Hooray! Three Yay. cheers for the rusted knight and his white habit. It Yay. Stop, stop. Back up. There's water everywhere. You'll dissolve. Hello? Oh, water. don't get. Tell me I serve no. you. No, that. don't get near the water. I don't don't believe serve. that almost happened. It's been ages since I missed the first fire. First fire. Do fires happen often? Oh, every day. What? That's gonna be hard in a paper village! Oh, uh, right, I guess. Uh, introductions. These yeah. are the paper pleasers. They're probably the, the most polite, most hospitable <laughs> afterns around. Oh! Because. And your little paper purpose. teacups. No, thank you. <laughs> when Alex left me to die, Juniper found help. Brought me to the paper Juniper. pleasers. Who got me back on my feet. Hey they work all day. Not just serving travelers, the but fish serving paper? the land they live on, too. They beautify mm. it. Make it a place of peace. Wow. Unfortunately, they're a bit clumsy, but that well, also makes them predictable. Uh, there you I go. You to hold these. Thank you, uh, Grave Knight. Some paperweights. Classic rat. <laughs> you named oh. them after your teammates? No. Oh. I named them after everybody. Okay, the disastrous oh, lighting of the Morning Lantern is done. He dope. missed his friend. Gives us just enough time to strategize before the calming Pebble Tower crumbles, crushing the Koi Pond Dam, and flooding the entire village. So I'm thinking, quick brunch. Quick brunch, and then save the paper world. My life's work. Oh. Over the years, Juniper and I have wow. been systematically exploring as many of the nearby acres as possible. If you wow. think you've seen it all here, let me tell you, you haven't. What oh, exactly God, have you been looking for? Anyone or anything that might be able to take us back home. Okay, okay. good job. And what have you found? But so far, I mean, not much, but I've got a really, really good feeling about this one acre we saw with a bunch of pyramids. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I follow. Do you have any leads at all? Any other plans? This is the plan. Th that's the plan was I, to I'm sorry I didn't solve all our problems by myself, but I, I can't just run off and let them die. No. But between protecting the village, searching for you guys, and searching for an exit, we've got right. a really tight schedule to keep. Right. Rather, you've got a tight schedule to keep. I beg your pardon? Um. This is the schedule of catastrophes that befall the village every day. It's a long the list. Secure the dam. The watch. I hang on. I really want to see. I really want to see what they are. Stop the goose. Oh no. Are we gonna see the goose at some point? Hang on. I want to. I want to put it back just a little bit. If you wouldn't give it to me, maybe don't give them. Oh, help with daily construction, beautifying projects, so that they don't get injured. No more fried foods, too much grease, tea shop fiasco. Very curious about that. Stop the second, stop the second fire. So what we saw was the first fire. Um, save them from the residual water. Check in at sandpaper, nice shop. How breaks in. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Keep Oscar away 
from anything that can be used as a kite string. Stop the goose. I'm very curious about the goose, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Repair scarecrows in rice fields. If late, fight off giant crows. Make new scarecrows. Ruby will help. Ruby is what I like the little Ruby one. It reminds me of Ruby before this all happened to Ruby. Stop the coffee maker at the cafe before it explodes. Oh, wow. The paper indoors. Daily wind surge. Stop Nora from climbing pebbles hour during the storm. Trust me, this one ends poorly. Take the scissors from Neptune. Stop the bandits. Say, oh, help Pira with her homework. That crushed me. I don't know why. I just seen that just crushed me. Stop the unfoldening. You'll know it when you see it. I can imagine. Take away the makeshift lightning rods during the storm. Get paper pleasers to bed. He's like their daddy. He's like, oh, he's taking care of them so well. Find a way home. Yeah. Final rounds, find a way home. We'll find our solution in no time. Guys. But this now there's it. so Look, many there's of them. one thing I've learned after all these years, it's that patience pays off. Right. That's why we're finally back together. I know yeah. I can find us a way out, okay? I, I know it. Oh, John. I know it. <gasps> John's not okay either. This isn't crazy. Oh. I'm not crazy. <clears throat> Honey. This isn't you're not. crazy. It's easy. You know, we still got time before the Pebble Tower falls. How about I... Saddle up Juniper and show you around myself. Point out some of the clumsier papers. Okay. <laughs> Just wait till you guys meet Neptune. <laughs> he was all with the scissors. John, this isn't a plan, it's a to-do list. He's obviously been through a lot. He has. Yeah. We can be frustrated later. Right now, Jean Ch -ch 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 -ch. needs us. And we still need him. We just <laughs> can't count on him. Then who does that leave Little us with? Is it's obvious we need Ruby. someone to guide us, or we could end up thrown back in time, or killed by the tree, or worse. Well, if that's how everybody- The great tree does not kill. That is what? That is what we keep trying to tell him, but our hero still insists that we never ascend. What? I do not wish to be rude, but our work has been completed for quite some time. Because of us, the land is beautiful. But we have realized that, like ourselves, it is also very delicate. We would like to make something that is pleasing, but also resilient. Because of this, we are ready to leave ourselves and merge with the they tree. They want to so us. It might return us as something new. But our hero is displeased by this course of action. He doesn't want them we going in the tree. Out to the tree. But our hero forbade it. He's then keeping... the wisest of our village suggested breaking from our physical forms so that With the scissors. can carry us back to the tree. But our hero is clever He's and protecting brave. them. He doesn't Always want them to get hurt. From harm. Because... You must understand, the tree does not kill. It resurrects and rebuilds. We do not wish to displease our hero, and I hope I have not displeased you, but we so desperately wish to return to the tree. To return home, Aww. so that we may carry on with our work. Return home, huh? Oh, do not be sad. The wisest are going to topple the Pebble Tower today. I am sure it will work this time. I do this what makes every you so day. sure? Nothing. Huh? Well, they just do it's it every so day, sad. so. Weird, but it's sad. But it also um... means Jean might not be totally right about the tree. It's right. not death, I think... it's rebirth. From a certain perspective, maybe. But it is what sort happened of to Lewis both? then? Jean said right. Jean wasn't there. The cat wasn't even there. Right. We know the full story and we'll never learn anything babysitting these villagers. We have to convince Jean to let them go. But how? He's, He's not... clearly not all there. <gasps> is that what you think? Oh, honey, no, it's, it's, but what it's. What if the cat was telling the truth? Maybe not about everything, but about the tree. The tree's the last thing you should listen to them about. They're, they're just doing what they're designed to do. They don't care what happens when you get there. We're not listening to them. 
we're listening to the Aftrins. And they're right. telling us they're the saying there's nothing to be afraid of. That they want to go. They don't know what they want. You've he seen doesn't the way want they them act. Nothing here to is that straightforward, themselves. okay? Afterins are all either too clever, too stupid, or too crazy to trust. Oh! Ouch. Then why do you care so much about this village? Because I can actually protect Because he people. can do something about it. Because he can actually do something about this, and he had no control over it. Oh. Oh, great. <sighs> this is all we needed. And if, see, the thing is, though, if, the, if they get them, that's really bad, then they can never ascend. Not letting them down. Come on, Juniper. If those walkers make it down here, those Afterins will never ascend. Right. They won't run this time. Okay, let's fight. Ruby, uh, Ruby, baby. How are you doing? She's she's not okay either. Oh, John, that is just heartbreaking. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, nice! I love the combo move. Oh, heck yes! Oh, we get a little uh, couples fighting here. Oh, get off her. Man, these Jabberwockers don't stand a chance. Whoa. Nice. Oh. The song, too, though. combo move R ruby honey she kept guys she's not all right she is not okay sweetheart she's 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 guys she's not all right she's waiting wanting truly crazy Whoa! I can't tell if that's something Neo made it do or no! Don't you dare use Penny's face! I think this is what she's seeing, or maybe it is what. Oh! Ah! I can't tell if that's something Neo was doing, or if, or if that's what Ruby was seeing. Oh God, Penny! Oh, ah! And there's okay. There's Neo. And it was, yeah, it was, uh, the it was an illusion. From the market. But that's. Those were more than just her usual tricks. They. She's upgraded. And grow, and. How has she gotten so powerful? Well, she didn't do it by standing around. I know you may not care about protecting this village, but you could at least help your John. friends when they're in danger. She's scared. She's scared Ruby? of Crescent Rose. She's uh, not. You okay? No! 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 She's not! Oh no, what time is it? No! Oh! No! Oh! oh they I'm made sorry. it this time. I could save them. I was supposed to. Come on. And they're dead. This isn't the same. No, it's they're not. This isn't the same. No, Jean. They're mm. gone. But they're not dead. They're not. They'll be back. Yeah. Right. It's what they wanted. Right, Ruby? Ruby. Why are you asking me? Um we just Because I'm the leader. Oh. Because I'm just supposed to have something to say. Because I don't. No, she's not I mean, all right. Why do I have to be the leader anyway? Why do I have to always be the she one to pick people up? Room. What about me? No time, right? Gotta get home. Gotta help Jean. Gotta, Gotta save find everyone. someone who isn't just going to screw everything up. Gotta stay positive, right? Oh, honey. Smiles all around. Maybe even finally get our feelings sorted out. 
Good for you. By the way, we're all so happy for you. Hey. I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? Ruby. Are we supposed to be mourning Jean's make-believe friends? They're Ruby. This is not help. you. The walkers came for you because Neo hates you. Oh, oh let's not forget the reason oh. we're in the Ever After in the first place is because of your plan. This is not helping, work. guys. What about you? It's all about you. Th oh no, sure. this is not helping. I'm sorry, I... not none of it's helping. None I of know, it is. I'm not okay. I'm, I'm not. You needed right, to get but... it out. How am I supposed to be? I've been alone. I know. For so no. long. Oh, sweetheart. On that bridge. I was the only one that could do it. I was the only one. Oh. And I. <laughs> and now I have to live with that. John. In here or back home. Guys, I know things are bad, but. Shut up. Whoa. Don't. Do that. Don't do Just the motivational don't. speech thing. Oh, little scared. But but we really do have. Wow, she's off. But guys, we really do have to figure this out. Stick together. But try telling to very 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 hurting people that it's not easy. It's not what they want to hear. Please don't be the end of the episode. No music, no, oh, okay, well, there's gonna be music. Wow. That was really sad. That was really sad. She finally got it out. I will say it might, it might not be constructive to yell at each other and point the finger, but there's something to be said for getting stuff out. And I have a feeling neither she nor John had gotten any of that out in a very, very long time, like if ever. <coughs> maybe it was it's I hate to see her like going for the people she cares about because that's not going to help anything same with John but I mean I do feel like there probably is so much resentment on both sides that like resentment of yourself and resentment of just the such just how everything's working out you know it's it's devastating oh John how much do you want to bet he hadn't, he hadn't talked to anyone about, I mean, he's been alone, so he hasn't talked to anyone, period, unless it's been the paper people. But, wow, guys. Wow! Wow! That was really, really sad. Part of me is so sad to see it come to a head this way. And part of me is like, maybe it's good that we just get it out there and start talking. Because this is the first one where I feel like somebody was finally like, hey, what's going on with Ruby? Um, we haven't really, and she hasn't really drawn any attention to it because, you know, that's what she does. She, she just keeps everything going and until she's not going anymore. And so now what do we do? Um... Same with John, like he's, oh, the stuff with, the stuff with John, guys. He was protecting this little village, keeping them from ascending because he could control this. He could do something about this. He, he named them all after his friends. I noticed, though, I didn't notice a penny. There's probably a reason for that. But that's just so crushingly sad. Um, oof, I'm about to make my nose a lot worse. Um, and same with Ruby. She's just been kind of... I, I don't find it any coincidence that they're... That the two of them would clash in this instance. Because what they're going through is so similar. They both just, you know, for John, it's that he's had all this time to 
think about what happened and what he did. And he's found a way to cope and try and control the world around him. For Ruby, Ruby's still spinning out of control. I mean, she hasn't even dealt with any of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I would say John has not dealt with it correctly or well because of all he, you know, he's been up against with being alone and going through all the stuff with, uh, with Alex and Lewis. And Ruby just hasn't dealt with it at all yet. It's just all still, it's like an open wound. And it's, of course, it's making her question everything. Oh, but watching John yell at her like that. Oh, I just, they're both just hurting so bad. I just both want them, to, I want them both to heal. And I feel like as important as it was to get that all out, um, I just hate seeing them like, <coughs> oh, excuse me, wound each other even more, you know than they each already are. Oh man, guys, that was good. It was sad. It was really sad. I'm upset for Ruby. And I, I, I know she has to find a way to move on from this. But she's not even in that, like she told Blake, she was, she was just like, don't eat, don't start with the, <clears throat> that's usually her thing, you know, to be like, come on, we gotta, we gotta stay positive. We gotta, like she said, you know, she's just questioning what anything means anymore. Who she is, what anything means. She's just like hollow. It's just awful to watch. And like I said, she's just not even in a place where she can begin to think about moving on from all of this. How do you? You know, um, I think that John was in a really bad place as well and never really, you know, he found a way to cope, but it wasn't really moving on from it. Um, but at least he found, like, some way to cope, and Ruby's just not even... She's not even coping. And John was barely coping. Poor John. Oh, man. As that, I, I just don't know why that just... Ugh. So sad. Of course, of course he... Of course he'd be in a bad spot from it. Being alone. And having the weight of that on him. So, is it in the open now? Like, are we going to talk about that? Because he didn't really come out and say to them what had happened. <coughs> oh, God, guys. That is just, I, I'm just, like, replaying the scene in my head of him yelling, like, she was after you, Neo's here because of you, this is all because of you and your decisions, and, like, oh, she knows that she feels that already, that's why she feels so dead inside. I just don't know how we're ever going to bring her back. But maybe it's not about bringing her back. Maybe it's about just helping her. I mean, with without, um, you know, it's not really a pun, but uh, maybe, like I was going to say no pun intended, but it's not really a pun. Maybe it's less about going back and more just about moving forward. Um, but I don't even know how to help her do that. I mean, if we, if we, you can see why John wanted so badly to take control of something. Because if we had control over one thing in our lives, one thing, I feel like <coughs> she could at least start to talk about it. But everything is just spun out of control completely. Like, we don't know how to get home. We don't know how to survive here. I just feel like she's just hollow. It's really awful to watch. It was awful to watch with John, too. I just want to hug them both. I want to hug them both. And, you know, that that's there's a good statement in there about people who are, you know, it's like, I know 
that Ruby deep down, like our Ruby, wants all of the people around her to be happy. It's all she lives for up to this point, you know? <coughs> it's for everyone to be okay. And supporting them and protecting them. But like when you're in a when you're in a bad spot yourself, it's like you can't even she couldn't even um be uh she can't even like appreciate the good things going on around her because of just how empty she is that's really really saying something especially about ruby you know someone we never ever ever thought we'd see get to this point but she's never really stopped to take care of herself really it's always been about saving people move doing this getting here getting there oh man guys all right i'm, I'm gonna wrap it up because that's just like be you know it's, it's been bad enough to watch Ruby in a bad spot, but watching Ruby and John and watching them yell at each other, oh, just rip my heart out and stomp all over it, why don't you? All right, guys, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I still, I still got hope. I'm, I, we're going to get through this. It just looks really bad. <coughs> And, but on the plus side, now we really don't know if the tree is all bad, which might be a good thing. If the tree can actually help us, you know. But that's kind of an interesting commentary, isn't it? That, like, if you're not in a good place yourself, growth is going to seem like death. Change is going to seem like death. There's some powerful messages in there. There really, really, really are. I'm going to wrap it up because I really just need to like, I really need to internalize all this and get my nose and throat in order <laughs> before I can like, before I can come back and have an even more in-depth discussion. But man, that was great, you guys. That was fantastic. Um, Such a heartbreaker. Oh, help Pira with her homework. No. Oh, oh shot to the heart. Oh, good Lord. All right, you guys. Fantastic episode. I loved it. Three left, you guys. Three left after this. I hope we can wrap all this up in three episodes. I really do. We'll find a way. Um, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, please don't leave me now. <laughs> My heart's in crumbles. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.